When kids play, it's more than just fun. It turns out certain activities are linked with positive developmental outcomes. And here to walk us through the research is Dr. Michael Rich. Doctor, good morning to you. Good morning to you. So tell us more about the results of this fascinating study. Well, um, about three years ago, we grew concerned that we were undervaluing play in a child's life. Um, we were so focused on teaching them various things and, and helping them get up to speed for the 21st century that we were not really measuring the quality of play and how it might affect their development. So we followed nearly 400 children over three years in the U.S. and Mexico um, for how they played in their downtime, in their, in their free time, how they played, with whom they played, what sorts of play they engaged with, and measured that against standardized scales of cognitive, social, emotional, and executive function development um, to see whether certain types of play had an effect on certain types of development. And interestingly, for example, we found that active play as expected, help them be physically stronger and more coordinated. But less expectedly, we found things like their social emotional development was greater. They learned to negotiate. They learned to take turns. They learned how to resolve conflicts. Um, and their executive functions, such as impulse control, judgment, future thinking, were also improved from active play, simply running around, playing tag, kicking a ball, et cetera. Right, and of course, you know, these days time is a luxury and parents who are really stretched for time might be wondering, well, how can I help my kids achieve this type of play, achieve these types of results? What would you tell them? I would tell them to put their smartphones down, um, that their social media and their work can wait, um, and look at their child, pay attention to their child, listen to their child, let their child lead them in play and play with them. We found that child-directed play and play with adults were immensely powerful for building their memory, their working memory, which helps their school readiness. Um, also, play games that allow the child to imagine, to role play, to pretend, and to guide that play. So a board game or a card game was good not just for learning to count and, and learning letters and numbers, but also for learning how to get along in the world. And they become analogs of, of, of the real world play. And tell us about this uh, collaboration with Hasbro, because it certainly uh, helps in this effort, right? Absolutely. Well, Hasbro sponsored this this research. Um, we we did it completely independent of Hasbro, and we did not use Hasbro toys necessarily um, in in that study, we basically study what the children are doing when in their natural lives. Um, and, and they were very interested in getting to the deeper value of play mm -hmm. in its most fundamental sense. How does play fit into a child's life? Is it of value? What value is it? What types of play are better than others? Um, not to develop product, but to really understand the child and the adult that they were growing into. Clearly very valuable research, and if viewers want more information and maybe some tips, et cetera, where can they go get it? Well, we have the study and also a lot of parent tips built on that study at the Center on Media and Child Health website at cmch.tv slash moreplaytoday. We're also on Twitter at hashtag moreplaytoday. Excellent. Dr. Michael Rich, thanks for your time. Thank you. Let's play. Let's play. Stay where you are. We'll be right back.